The new Minister of Finance, Ipumbu Shimi, said that government is aware of businesses in the private sector that will not be operational due to the state of emergency declared by the President amidst a COVID-19 outbreak. A cabinet committee has been established to gauge options that government can take to support these businesses. Cabinet tasked the, the, the economic minist- ministries to work on the economic response plan. Um, so that committee is, is, is uh, being supported by a team of experts who are looking at what are the intervention strategies that we, we, we should deploy, um, who needs help and what kind of help, and how much money is, 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 um, is needed for that purpose, and where will that money come from. So those are the questions that we are trying to, to answer from the economic committee. Um, and I have appealed for a period of a week or so. Um, we may not have a concrete plan by then, but we will be able to communicate our progress in that regard. Shimi also reiterated a statement by the Ministry of Labor that urged companies not to retrench workers or force unpaid leave. The leader of the COVID-19 task force, Bernardo Fiku, at a recent engagement with the media, said mitigation factors are crucial to avert an increase in poverty levels, especially in the informal sector. One of the factors I heard being mooted is speaking to private sector like banking sector um, to, 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 to lessen their demand. Maybe the person has got a low cost house, uh, which will be a problem as, as far as premium paying is concerned. Or maybe it's an SMS where we need to consider cash, uh, cash transfer. Uh, maybe if the person is a taxi driver or he drives passengers from here to Walfus Bay, Swakopmun, and he earns, let's say, 3000 a month out of his business, maybe we give him 1000 instead. So these are all measures that are being, um, uh, being, being, being discussed. And hopefully, um, in the shortest possible time, we'll get a solution and implement it, hopefully starting with the most low um, uh, segments of society, because otherwise we are going to make poverty worse, actually, to be honest with you. Media organizations, supermarkets and medical services are among the essential services that remain operational. Members of the public that are in the lockdown areas of Comas and Erongo regions are only allowed to leave their homes when visiting these services.